Uh, welcome to the Round 7 report, Sturt v Centrals at Unley Oval. Um, it was a very disappointing day in many ways. Um, both, we'll start with Zane playing his last game. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, I guess, sad to see him make the call on Thursday night to the playing group that he was going to finish up. But um, what an amazing career from him and uh, I wish him well in the future. Um, so, yeah, so disappointing first three quarters. Um, we sort of uh, just couldn't, I guess, get playing the way we wanted to play in the first three quarters. And... Um, to Central's credit, they were you know they were pretty good. Um, they capitalised, I guess, on their opportunities, which we probably didn't do as well in the first three quarters as well. So, yeah, frustrating and disappointing um, start to the game. But our last quarter, we I guess had nothing to lose, and the boys started to actually play some you know reasonably good football, and we gave ourselves a chance in the last quarter. Um, just fell short, probably with Central's kicking a couple more than we would have liked. So. Um, final score, Sturt 11 9, 75 to Central's 12 13, 85. So 10 point loss. Um, yeah, overall, um, probably just didn't get going and didn't get playing the way we want to play. And, um, you yeah, know, we didn't have those you know, forward pressures. Our, our tackling was down, our pressure was down. And also just our ball movement was a little bit off where, you know, our skill execution. Um, and again, you know, there's a lot of bit, a lot of things we talked about as coaching and playing group about the reasons behind that. But um, you know, it's just something we need to get better at, and uh, and making the most of our opportunities when we do when we do get the ball in our forward line and turn the ball over. So, yeah, frustrating, frustrating day. Oh, as a coach, you do those things a lot. Um, I don't, I don't know if we can do anything differently. You know, there's I've chatted with a couple of the leaders about you know the buy. Do we? Do we handle the buy well enough? Um, you know, our, I guess our training over the buy, um, all the, all those things, you know, go through your head when you lose. Um, you know, did you do these? And that's why I think it's important that we sort of keep the same structure. Then you, you know, then you can rule out those things, which we did. Um, and you know, again, um, it, it's it's one of those things as a coach you're always thinking about. Do you change things? Do you keep them the same? Um, and so I guess, you know, we try to keep things as, as the same as possible. Um, so to try and take that, eliminate that one out of the equation if we play poorly. So, um, but again, I think, you know, with a young group and, and the playing group we have, um, it's about that consistency of performance, you know, over four quarters and week to week. And we probably did that before the buy. Maybe the momentum from the, we built up, up to the buy might have been, you know, just knocked a little bit um, in that buy period. But... Again, it's just something we got to keep working on and looking looking to, I guess, amend moving forward. Yeah, so something we've been working on probably the last you know month and preseason is our, our ball movement forward of centre to try and you know capitalise on our opportunities. Um, yeah, on the weekend, I think you know it was a combination of a few different things. I think um, you know our, our execution of our skills wasn't great. Um, and as, as I said, I think we had three tackles in our forward half or forward fifty in the first three quarters we had six in the last quarter so um and there's a little bit of that you know blokes not i guess taking the game on in the first three quarters when you know did we need to you know those sorts of things in the last quarter we got nothing to lose so blokes take the game on a bit more and um you know we get in there so yeah it's a tough one to answer i guess but yeah our, our skill execution was nowhere near as high as what it has been in the last probably six weeks and so that that doesn't help we turn the ball over a lot more than we normally did as well. So, yeah, again, frustrating, but um, we keep working on our, you know, our skills in execution and training. Yeah, I think, um, again, it's, you know, it's a learning experience for our group. You have Manny, Liddy. At one stage, you have Liddy, Lewis and Shoot in there in the midfield. So, yeah, it's a really good experience for these young guys to play against some really good footballers. Um, again, we probably didn't capitalise on our opportunities as much as we should have. Um, again, we... You know, we probably just second of the ball. We're a bit off it, um, you know, in the first half and first three quarters. So that doesn't help either when, you you know, you're giving the opposition, you know, first go, first look at the footy or, you know, an easy clearance. So um, something that will, you know, as I said, we, we, we're a work in progress and we just got to keep, you know, ticking away. And training, training focuses are going to be the same as what we have the last month um, and just keep educating. We got, you know, really good reviews at the moment we're getting some really good i guess input from the playing group at training and reviews so we just got to keep you know chipping away keep working on everything that we've you know focused on for the last month and um hopefully you know we can start putting cons consistent performances together 
like we were, you know, probably against the Glenelg's and the Crows a couple of weeks ago.